Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. I'm Robert Petito and in this video we're going to show you how you can take the generic photos of users in your app and turn them into gamified avatars that can be leveled up as users progress throughout your app. We're going to use one of Glide's newest integrations, Replicate, in order to make this happen. So step one is to go over to replicate.com, sign in with your GitHub account. And upon signing in, you might land on this Explore tab where you can see all the different AI models that are available to you through Replicate. We're going to head over to our user profile, go to API tokens, and we're going to create a new token. After you've created a new token, you're going to copy the token, head back to Glide, go to Settings, Integrations, and you're going to add the Replicate integration and pop in your API token. From here, you can see that you can use Replicate as either a column or an action in order to run what's called a prediction. A prediction is basically passing on a prompt and some data in order to wait for a result. In this case, our result is going to be a new gamified avatar based on a user image. So in our app, I have some select members of the Glide team, and we're going to create some fantasy avatars based upon some data that we have associated to each of these Glide members. If we were to visit the data, you can see that I have some made up information for each of these Glide members with class, hair color, possible gender and age, uh, maybe weapon, armor, pet and level. And again, all these are just text. And this text can be changed at any point throughout the app. So let's say users are using your app and they end up earning or purchasing uh, a new item, we can simply replace that information with new text, right? So if this person happened to earn a gold dagger, we can just replace the silver dagger with gold dagger at some point in our app. And what we want to have Replicate do is generate a new avatar with the most up-to-date information. So that means we have to find a Replicate model that can do this image-to-image -image generation for us. I'm going to go over to Replicate. All right, so I've landed on the Explore tab here in Replicate. And if I scroll down, I can probably try to find something related to images that takes a headshot and transforms it. I could search for image, but I'm just gonna see what we can find here. Okay, if I scroll down, it looks like, oh, here, this use a face to make images. That sounds promising. I'm gonna dive into this model. We see the model name and the model user. This warm underneath means that people have recently used this model, which means it should be quicker to generate, which is a good sign as well, that it's not some abandoned model here. And we can see that there's an input and an output. And the input has some parameters we can configure. And it looks like the output is gonna be an image URL, which is perfect. All right, so the input is gonna take a face image, which we can generate from Glide, and a prompt. We can set the width and height of the image, the checkpoint model, which is kind of interesting, and then some other parameters that maybe we can define as well. Let's go ahead and start with our prompt. I'm going to head over to Glide and start crafting the prompt that I want to craft in order to generate this end result. So I'm going to add a new column here. We'll call it prompt, and it's going to be a template column. Since I want it animated, I'm going to say 3D CGI. I want it kind of cartoony, so I'll say art by Pixar. I want it to match the headshot as close as possible. So I'm going to say skin color and hair length must match reference image. And then from here, I'm going to start feeding in those data points that we have for the character. So I'm going to say image of a human <laughs> uh, level and then whatever the level the person is. And then class, so like a level 10 mage, wearing, and then the, whatever the armor is, holding, and then whatever the weapon is. I need the gender in there, so I'll put that before human. I want age as well, so maybe I'll put that before gender. So of a age year old. So we're looking like 30 year old female human level three mage wearing a tunic and holding a whatever. I'll say blank hair. And then if there's a pet, we can try this in front of the character 
is a small pet, and then whatever the pet happens to be. All right, now we're gonna add those replacements in our template column. There's quite a few of them, so I'm gonna add some here. And so now I'll replace these with the actual items. Save. Okay, so like for example, this person here, we have 48-year-old male human level 10 mage wearing silver cloak cloth, holding rune staff, silver hair in front of the character is a small pet blank, which is nothing. But if somebody does have a pet, it would show up as small pet bobcat. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We'll see if that actually works. All right, lastly, we need the actual avatar itself. So I'm going to say avatar. This is going to be an image column. And we will say, all right, back in our layout, we see our list of characters, and we actually want to switch the image from their normal headshot to the avatar. Next, we need a button in here to trigger that replicate run prediction action. Now, normally I would probably build this into the onboarding sequence or whenever they purchase or change their character or level up, I would also then or run this replication uh, to update their avatar. But for now, what I'm going to do is just build out a button on the collection itself. We'll call it avatar. And the action is going to be an integrations replicate run prediction. All right, now there's an information that we need to provide. We need an identifier, some parameters, and the output. So the output is going to be the avatar column. The identifier we can find back in Replicate. Uh, we can go to the API tab here. And if we scroll down under the Get Started, we see here where it says constant output, await, replicate, run, and then it has we, that familiar username and model followed by this unique identifier. I'm gonna copy that and paste that as the identifier. All right, now it's looking for some parameters. So the parameters we can add are part of the schema here. So we can add width, height, prompt, face image. Um, let's go ahead and add those four first. I'm just gonna copy this text so I remember how everything is spelled. Let's add four parameters. Actually, I can remember these. We have width, height, prompt, and face underscore image. So for width, um, I actually wanted the image to be a portrait style image. So I'm gonna say 900 by 1600 for width and height. The prompt is gonna be that template column. And the face image is gonna be the original image. All right, let's see what other parameters we can add in here. We can add in a face style, negative prompt, things we don't want to see in the image, and a checkpoint model. Checkpoint model seems like the most important one, and it says it's just a string, but I'm not sure what to include here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the playground. And if I scroll down here to where the checkpoint model is, we can see that there are various models to pick from. I want something animated. And it looks like the default is this Dream Shaper, but really I want this Starlight XL animated deal here. Um, I could try to copy this or paste it, but I, what I think I might do is look in the output JSON on the example image and see if it's already there, and it is. Cool, so I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna copy, head back to Glide, add that as the checkpoint, as the checkpoint model. And we'll paste that in as custom. It's got to be in quotes since it's a string value. And I think that's it. All right, so in theory, if I hit avatar, it's going to run that prediction. And sometime later, it's going to generate a new image, which should show up as the new avatar for this character. Let's go ahead and click on avatar and see what happens. All right, the button got grayed out, which means that it's running in the background, which is a good sign. I can see the progress if I go to my replicate dashboard, right? I can see that there is something booting here and it's coming from the API, which is what I just called. And this is gonna be the ID of the image that gets generated. So we see that it's booting. So there's three different stages. There's booting, then queue, and then starting. So booting means it's booting up 
the model itself. So the booting sometimes takes a minute, but then once it gets to queued and then starting, then from there it usually only takes about 30 seconds to generate the image. So we're just gonna be patient and wait for this image to pop in. We can also try heading back to our Glide app and while we're waiting and just click the avatar button for each of these. Head over to our dashboard and we should see that those start populating inside of our dashboard here. To see that they're all booting is a bit of a red flag. It lets me know that it's gonna take a minute for those avatars to show up. But again, we'll just be patient. Okay, they loaded. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, so if I visit uh, each of these, let's do a side-by-side. -side. I'm gonna click into these and do a side-by-side -side image. So Glide already gives us this container with the image. Um, let's go ahead and do a one-to-one -one so that they're side-by-side. -side. I'm gonna add in another image where this image is gonna be the avatar and let's make it small <laughs> and let's zoom out just a little bit there we go <laughs> that's amazing look at that so the it, ca it captures the facial expression and uh exactly I, mean, I said it was you need to have an iron broadsword gold plate armor he's a warrior that's fantastic uh let's take a look at another one so here's Darren Humphreys. He's a mage with a rune staff with a silver cloth cloak. Like it's got his beard and a hairstyle and everything. I gave him a pet kitten for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Kate Levin, pet bobcat. It's kind of like a bobcat, more like a cat, but that's a cool. Gold dagger, holy platinum robe, because she's a priest. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Brett Harrelson, oh my goodness, is wearing a tribal wrap with a fire lizard. It looks like the fire lizard ended up being like part of his ancestral staff. But, I mean, come on. Got the glasses. Gave him a little earring. That's pretty cool. Uh, Branca with the, I made her a rogue wearing a night vest um, with a Black Panther pet. And it gave her like three Black Panthers, apparently. Kind of cool. Going back, let's look at David, CEO. Look at that. The facial expression on that is fantastic. So it captured his hairstyle, the dragon scale vest, his water dragon pet, right? And uh, Jack Vaughn. <laughs> oh my God. So, yeah. so I know Jack's really into music, so I made him a bard with a wooden lute. That's his weapon <laughs> with a cloth tunic. He looks kind of meek, but uh, man, there's some power behind that. Got his glasses and the hair and everything. Look at that. That's cool. And then lastly, Jason Smith. Yeah, Cap look how tall it made him uh, with his ruby scepter and ghostly shroud because uh, he's a wizard. He got his haircut and everything. This is cool. This is so cool. So now that we see that this is working fairly well, we can go into our collection, go to actions, and I'm going to take this action of creating the avatar into just a dynamic column instead. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this identifier. Let's open up my data. I'm going to add a new column here. We'll call this avatar2. It's going to be that replicate run prediction. Identifier will be our identifier there. And we're going to add in those values just like we did before. Paste, save. Okay. So now that it's looking for the actual value, we can get rid of our button. And the image will just point to this dynamic column. So you see all the images loaded previously because we had already run them once. It's waiting for two new images for these two characters because I changed their armor slightly. I changed Mark's from gold to diamond. And I changed Jack's from a cloth tunic to a leather tunic. And we'll see how quickly it actually generates that new avatar. There's Jack with his leather tunic. Let's change the image to the new avatar. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit more rugged and manly. Still with the glasses. I love it. Darren with his snow owl. He's got two snow owls. Lucky him. And then Mark. Not as diamondy, as blingy as I thought it was going to be, but you get the idea, right? Um, just how quickly it can create a new avatar just using new prompts right from your glass data. 
So as I find new ways of leveraging Replicate inside of Glide, you'll be sure that I'll create a video to highlight it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me in the Glide forums or on X at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.